Today we'll look at how to calculate the amount of tokens that you need when you're adding liquidity to Uniswap B3. Let's say that a user wants to add liquidity to ETH USDC pool. Delta X will represent the amount of ETH to add. For this example, we'll say that this user wants to add 2 ETH. P will be the current price. Let's say that the current price is 1336 USDC per ETH. P of A is the lower price range. We'll say that this is 1000 and P of B is the upper price range. We'll say that this is 2000. Delta Y will be the amount of USDC that we'll need to add. And our question is, how much USDC will we need to add? With these parameters, delta x, p, p of a, and p of b, our question is how many USDC do we need to add? What is delta y? Let's go over the solution. How do we compute delta y? To solve for delta y, we will be using this equation, the equation for liquidity delta that we have found out in a previous video. To solve for delta y that you see over here, we'll be plugging in all of the variables that we know, delta x, current price p, p of b, and p of a. When we put in all of these variables, we'll be able to calculate delta y. So first, let's calculate this part of the equation. I'll copy all of this and then paste it here. And this will be equal to, let's start putting in the numbers. So first, I'll copy this equation. We said that delta x is 2 ETH. So I'll put a 2 over here. And then we said that the current price P is 1336 and we also said that p of b the upper price range is 2000 so i'll put a 2000 here okay so we filled out all of the variables for this equation i'll move this over to the right a little bit and from this equation above over here this part of the equation that you see over here must be equal to this part of the equation so next we'll compute this part of the equation so this will be equal to i'll copy this paste it here, and then we'll fill out the variables that we know. We don't know what delta y is, but we do know what the current price p and p of a are. The current price p is equal to 1336, and p of a, the lower price range, is equal to 1000. We filled out all of the variables that we need to calculate delta y. So let's solve for delta y. I'll copy this, paste it here. And we know that this part of the equation is equal to this equation. Paste it. And this means that delta y will be equal to multiplying this part of the equation. So I'll bring this over here to the right. And we have the expression delta y is equal to this calculation. Next, I'm going to use Google as my calculator to calculate this expression. So the equation that you see over here is the same exact equation that you see over here. I'll copy this equation and then calculate it using Google. Using Google, the calculation turns out to be 1972.17. So I'll copy this and then say this expression is equal to 1972.17. And we have our final answer that delta y will be equal to 1972.17 and we got here by using google to calculate this expression and this 1972.17 means that if we were to put 2 ETH where the current price is 1336 in the price range between 2000 and 1000 then we will need 1972.17 usdc Let's go over a real example using the Uniswap B3 app. The pool that we're going to be adding liquidity is ETH USDC. The amount of ETH that we'll be adding is 2. Now notice that the current price is 1312. For our example, we used 1336. So the resulting amount of USDC that we'll need to put in will be close to our example. The price range will be 1000. And let's adjust this to as close as to 2000 as possible. It looks like 2006 is the closest number, so we'll stick to this number. So when the price of ETH is 1,312, and we set the price range to be close to 1,000 and 2,000, we put in 2 ETH, then the amount of USDC that we'll need to put in is 1,743.